Hi everybody, welcome back to another video on crypto this time. This video is not going to be a positive, happy-go-lucky, yeah, 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 crypto, I love crypto type video. Actually, it's going to be, what is it doing? It's going to be kind of the opposite to that. I don't, some guy had a flame on the road, I don't know what it was doing. Just a little observation that I have been uh, wanting to share with you for a while, and that is that some of you watching this will be like, I want to make fast money, I need to invest in crypto, I'm going to buy some Bitcoin, you've already probably maybe have some Bitcoin, I don't know. Um, I'm going to buy some Ethereum, I've heard good stuff about Cardano. Here's the thing, like you've got to use your head a little bit here, over the last year, since uh, Bitcoin hit its peak in September last year, look at the graph. Look at all the graphs of all the major cryptos that are vying to be the new digital currency of the future. And you'll notice that they are all the same. They've all been in decline. This is a, war this is a warning, all right? Because you're going to, there's, there's a lot of noise. There's a lot of noise in the background and it's kind of hard to see through all that. One of the things that you'll notice is there are three types of videos on uh, cryptocurrency and the first one is the whole the future is going to be great, uh, the prices are going to go through the roof, everyone's going to do well and of course that creates a whole lot of FOMO, that's the purpose of those videos and people are getting pulled into cryptocurrencies <clears throat> and that's okay because that might actually happen one day. The second type of videos are utter crap. That is the fundamentals analysis of cryptography. <laughs> I can call it that. Cryptography, that's the wrong word. Of crypto. Uh, and, that, and basically trying to say, well, this blockchain technology is showing some real promise because they've got some level 56 encryption and uh, it's going to be an improvement over such and such because it's going to reduce the gas fees and they've got such and such, you know, they've got 5,000 developers on board uh, who they've stolen from other projects. And here's the thing, none of that makes any difference. If look, look at the graphs, look, keep looking at the graphs because that's basically showing you that no matter what any of these companies are doing, it doesn't matter. The fundamentals of these crypto startups and these bigger projects, even Bitcoin itself, it doesn't matter. None of it matters because the price is dictated by the market. The last uh, type of video that you're going to see on crypto is a technical analysis and of course what have we got? Basically we've got the same thing as shares analysis, right? We're looking for all the patterns, we're looking for triple peaks, we're looking for um, you know gateways and all this sort of, I don't even know what they are, <clears throat> trends and using MACD and whatever, whatever else, doesn't matter, all that sort of stuff. So your technical analyzers. What that tells me everybody is that crypto is not, that the fundamentals are not important. Cardano for example is looking like a, a real uh, potential long-term uh, leader in technology. Uh, but it's done nothing to the share price, uh, nothing to the crypto price. It's done nothing to, to increase its value. It is going down like everything else. That's the basic huge white elephant in the room, if you could call it that, is it, it's just going to keep going down. One day, it might go up, and that's, you know, but that's that's all just, that's all guesswork, like, no one really knows. No one has really any idea of where crypto is going. So if you're going to keep going with crypto, here's a couple of truths for you. Number one, the days of day trading crypto to massive amounts of dollars is over. Those people that have made many, many, many millions of dollars by trading crypto, I, I, it's not going to happen. It's too stable now unless you start really gambling. And if once you start to, to gamble with crypto, it's just like any other form of gambling. The second bit of advice that I hear is keep buying, so a bit like the dollar cost averaging type strategy, and I'm going to make some videos on that soon for you. But uh, on in that strategy, you know, if you've been following that over the last year, you're just uh, averaging down, averaging down, and uh, it's it's you haven't gone anywhere. <laughs> so that's that strategy is also slightly um, risky at the moment. 
And then, of course, you've got the long game. And to be in the long game, you're just going to have to hold your currencies. And if you bought near where it was $92,000 AUD for one Bitcoin, and you're now looking at about 30000 that's a 200% drop um, in the value of your coin. That's hard to take. And you start, you know, you're just going to like, hold that. So it's... Yeah, that's, that's playing a very long game. So all I'm saying, everyone, is tread carefully. Crypto at the moment is up in the air. A lot of people are very uh, bullish about it now because, because it is so low. Uh, we're off a very low base at the moment. So people are very bullish. At the same time, people are now you know, calling it a Ponzi scheme and that sort of stuff. That's, you know, it is what it is. So yeah, do a lot of research. Uh, make sure you are looking at the altcoins. Bitcoin is fine, but there are many altcoins out there that look like they have more growth to do and are flatter declines than Bitcoin does. So basically, in a nutshell, that's all I'm saying. Just do a bit of research. And uh, yeah, good luck with it all. Just a little update. If you are interested in Bitcoin, cryptocurrencies, etc., etc., stay tuned by subscribing to the channel um, I'm about to start a dollar cost averaging uh, series and if you're interested in that uh, strategy and uh, that, those sorts of strategies then uh, please um, subscribe and there's more coming up for you all right everybody that's it for today have an awesome day and week and um, all of you people here in Australia in the financial year get your taxes done sooner rather than later and uh, have an awesome year. Bye.